Like Goliath. All right. So this is the Corsair C70 that I've kind of had for a little bit. It finally arrived in the mail. So we're going to do an unboxing, and we're also going to be doing a mini build where we're going to take the parts from this current computer, and we're going to transplant that into the Corsair C70. So that we also have our unboxing and a build review along with it so that we can see how old it is. Alright, let's begin. So we're going to start unboxing it. The reason why I picked this one over some of the other cases was because it was it had new, some of the newer features so that even if I change out some components in there like a new motherboard and some new parts I will have the opportunity to use features like USB 3.0 when by default this computer does not have it on the motherboard so that was one good factor on this case They pack it upside down. They just love doing that. I don't know why. So they pack it upside down and then they put the plastic right side up. I think it's just really weird. You know? I was looking at it online on like these little grill things right here, but it really doesn't look half bad. Yeah. I, I thought it was going to be more obtrusive. Wow, this is actually a really nice case. Oh. This looks... Like, I got this at a good promo deal for like a hundred bucks. Oh. Well, technically it was $97 on Amazon when I bought it. A hundred dollars? Wow, 97 That's a deal. So you just kind of unclip it right there. How many, uh... Done. It comes with cargo let's base. See. Is this let's see. It has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six hard drive bays. Wow. And it looks like they all have the option to put in a 2.5 inch hard drive, which we're gonna kind of use. I'm gonna kind of get a little in view where you have like the base fans right here. Got two of them right here. And you kind of go over here. You got one more right here. They're all about three pin fan headers. And you got your USB 3.0 and your HD audio right here. You got your two fan headers. Got room for about one, two, three um, wow. DVD drives or CD drives. And they have this massive opening for like a radiator, but I won't be able to install anything because I don't actually have a radiator. We're gonna have to get one. So I'm probably gonna have to get one. I'll get the camera back to you, and I can probably put that away. This is a lot of space, and not to mention the the look like, of this thing. It, it, this, it looks really nice. The size difference between this and that, like, it adds a little bit extra height than normal, but this one only has about what two bays for like DVD drives and then we got our nice little box of screws I'm guessing whoa that's cool so what they do with this little box over here is the same way with the toolless hard hard drive where they have like little holes right here and that's not gonna go anywhere in shipping that's kind of cool yeah so what we're gonna what we're gonna do first is we're gonna kind of transplant most of the hardware, like the motherboard and stuff, first. So let's start uh, opening up this thing. I'm gonna get out some of my screwdrivers. Let's see. Let's get the screwdriver. Which bit do I want? I want. Let's do Phillips head. Do we want small? No, we can go with medium size. 
various screws. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to want smaller screws for the motherboard on this side. Let's see, because let's see. We got... I think these are extra case... No, these are month... These are your hard drives. Sorry for all the moving uh, around. Zip, we got zip ties. We got some longer screws. I'm guessing that's for more fans. Let's see what else we have. We got more zip ties. I'm guessing these are the motherboard screws. And here's the one reason why I bought this case over some others is it comes with this nice little adapter since this is going to be an older motherboard is it's going to have a USB 3.0 to standard USB 2.0 because I want to be able to use the front panel USBs because I like using them it's just my preference I like using the front more than the back and then it looks like maybe these are the no those are definitely not the motherboard screws. Let's 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 have a test screw real fast. A test screw real fast. Where if you don't know which screws are which, you just want to take one of the screws, kind of stick it in the motherboard slot, and see if it kind of goes in. If it doesn't really go in, then I'd say it's probably not the right type of screw. But it goes in enough to where it it stops. It doesn't go all the way in. So I'm going to test another screw. And see if I'm using the wrong type. Because it would really suck if I went in using the wrong type of screw. Because that would mean I screwed up. So this one's going to probably go in all the way. So this one goes all the way down to the base of the motherboard standoff. So I'm going to say these right here, the slightly, they look a little bit thicker. If you kind of look at it, the screw kind of looks a little thicker, but it really isn't. The threading's a little bit uh, smaller. So this one is probably our uh, 2.5 inch or um, hard drive screws. Or, uh, yeah, these should be our hard drive screws. And then that would mean these are short fan screws. And these are probably replacement fan screws for either, like, front fans. Because if you take off the front, there should be some spot for, like, two more fans. So I believe these should be to that. So I'm going to put that there. I want to start... Um, disassembling this computer. What are you going to start with? Um, I'm going to start taking out the power supply first. Because what I want to do is I have an anti-static wrist strap. And I want to kind of have something where I can attach it to. The joys of having a semi-modular power supply are so so much. That's actually a really nice power supply. It's a Corsair CX 750M. Yep. So I'm probably going to put the power supply in a little bit first. I'm going to change my mind because I don't feel like putting the motherboard in first. Since it's a semi modular power supply, it shouldn't take up too much room to put that in first. That, and it would probably make it a lot easier on me if I did that first. So let's see, I'm going to slightly take that out. I'm going to kind of have it all jammed in there because this original case did not have a lot of cable management room. Yeah, but as you can see with this case... <laughs> we well, have lots of cable management room. And, and I believe also it has this this back area right here yeah it does Let's for see. cable management so now we can thread is, it through do I want it to face that way or that way um, should we have fan up 
Or should we have fan down? Fan up. Fan up? I think. Um, see, the fan up. These cables are going to be there. Maybe a fan down would be easier to let's, cable yeah. manage, right? Yeah. Well, we we can thread it through here. And in the future, I can probably just take the sticker off. Yeah. If it really annoys me. Oh, well, it's not like I'm going to be able to see the power supply every second of the day. So I can probably live with that, which is pretty good. Yeah. I am fine with just living with the fact knowing that sticker is there. Not entirely anal about how my power supplies are. Not exactly. So what are you? You're just mounting the just mounting power supply. The power supply right now. Yeah. That way it's just kind of in there. Let me show that. This panel. This is a really cool panel. I like these these uh. The air holes. Nah, the um. Oh, the latches. Yeah, they're like mil. It's like a military style latch. I don't know. This is just like this this color and well, uh, the, the design of this. I thought it was. It looked kind of like an ammo crate. Yeah, exactly. Like the at the top. Yeah. Yeah, and it was like a really nice deep green. And my thought was, um, I was going to do this build while my brother was away. Because right now he's at basic training for the Marines. Yeah. So I thought coming back, maybe seeing this computer might excite him a bit. This is, uh, this is a very neat. That's exactly what I thought when I saw the the case the first time too and if you're wondering what specs are kind of in this machine they're kind of mix mashed it's a really old build i've been using for a while it's a uh, an i7 870 with 16 gigs of ddr3 ram and it's got a gtx 470 that i've taken apart i've done a new uh, application of thermal compound um, I kind of messed it up a bit, and the bottom shroud is kind of put on with a little bit of tape, because I kind of messed it up a bit, but that's kind of me. I wasn't paying very close attention to what I was doing, and I kind of ghetto rigged a few fans in here. That was from a, I think that was from a Powerhead server, that I kind of just shoved in there, because the, the 4 series from NVIDIA don't have the best representation of running cold. And this is the hard drive that's kind of been in there. So Western Digital Black Dual Drive, which has Windows 10 on it right now. So kind of taking everything apart. There's a little pain in the butt, but something that needs to be done. Let's see. And then we're gonna kinda, this was just kind of there just to be there because it didn't have a 2.5 inch hard drive bay in this case. So I kind of just had it sit on top of an existing SATA drive that was just kind of there. Not really the best spot if you're moving your computer a lot. But it works! That's all that really cared to me is that it worked. I think the thing I'm probably not going to worry about today is the front panel connectors. Mainly because I need to dig up the old fossil of a pinout probably. So I won't be really testing anything out. It kind of has it labeled. And I'll try my best to put it back together. It's starting to really not look like a computer anymore. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> I think the worst part of doing this build so far is I don't have a magnetic part tray. 
where I can put all the screws. That would have been really cool. This, I think it's a little fire wire thing I had in there. I don't know if I've ever used this. I don't know. What is that for? It's I think it, it's for uh, hard drives that use fire wire. It's mostly Apple stuff. Huh. I haven't Why used did you get that. that? Um, I had FireWire stuff, because I bought a Mac for school, because my side major was, what was it, it was, let's try not to get this fucking angle, video editing, or, um, it was digital imaging, I believe, was my side major, and, I got a Mac from a friend that was dirt cheap for like a hundred bucks and it had FireWire. I didn't keep the Mac for very long, I'll tell you that much. I kept it for like two days and then it was just too much of a change that I didn't like. So I ended up giving it back to him. After kind of putting all this money into getting that little adapter so I can also use it with Windows at home. So the plan was get FireWire. Can you scooch a bit so I can yeah. get that corner? Yeah. Was to get the FireWire for home. So if I had to bring something home, I had familiar territory. But that never came to be. And what I'd really love to do is completely build a new computer, but as I don't have any money right now, I'm just going to keep on using these parts, because they do what I need them to get done. Ah, oh, yes, it is tasty, Roguru. I see you there. I know. They didn't have anything to put up there, so I kind of put the food stuff on there. It is, uh, you guys. it is, it is quite the treat. It is a treat. It's um, a delicious treat. Let me, let me tell you right now. <laughs> For people watching the recording, we're also streaming this on this social be, eating. Yeah. So you can check out our Twitch at twitch.tv slash pizza party nine. Let's see if it'll come out. And there we go. It is free. It is free. He freed the motherboard. Let's see. Where do I want to put it? I'm going kind to of put this. I don't want to put it on the, on the nice side panel. But I'm going to have to put it on the nice side panel. Because I also got to pop this out. Which is the back plate. Which needs to go into this computer. Ooh, it's a nice tight little fit. That kind of just went right in there. Kind of like that. Actually, it's a little smaller than normal, so it kind of bows inwards. So it's really going to give those uh, connectors a really nice grip to it, I think. Let's see. I shouldn't have to remove anything, because it should be... One, two, three. 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 Then one, two, three. One, two, three, and then the middle one we don't care about because it has a little standoff to keep it there, which I think is really, really nice when they put that in, where you don't really have to worry. It just kind of keeps it in place for you. Yeah, that's really nice. It just kind of sits in there really nicely, and it lets you just screw it in. That's pretty nice when they put that extra standoff there that you don't have to care about. Then you can just kind of screw it in there. You know, I thought the blue 
and the green wouldn't mix really well. And I kind of like how it looks. It looks really nice. The one thing that I always questioned about this motherboard, it has these two little holes right here and here. And I really don't understand why they're there. They're just kind of there to be there. You should get some, uh, what is it called? I believe they're Corsair. No, I don't know. Uh, RAM cards, the red ones. Um, the eight gigabyte RAM cards. Uh, this is actually 16 gigs. Oh yeah, you should get the you should get two eight gigabyte RAM cards, the red ones, for the red, white, and blue inside. Why the, do these look different? Inside the green case. Are these the small ones that I said weren't the right ones? I think I put in the wrong screws already. <laughs> <laughs> We're already. I don't know where we're you already at. Sorry for my uh, my language, but uh, I done I done goofed. I put in the wrong screws. That is true. I did put in the wrong screws. Why did they give me these really really tiny ones? Why? I love how I started building this without actually reading the instructions manual because I'm like, I'm too, I'm too boss for that. And I'm already messing up. Isn't that like the best thing ever? And then I'm going to read the instruction manual later on today. And then it's going to be like, you used the wrong screws again. And I'm like, well, kill me now. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Why would they give me these really tiny screws? I'm like, we've already determined which screws kind of work. On the motherboard, and which ones work on the hard drives. Haven't we? Oops. What the fuck? I don't know. Oh, we kind of, we kind of closed it. You're back up, but it kind of went down. I don't know where the nut button is. I really don't know. God damn! I dropped Maybe the. Yeah, I look for the nut button. I dropped the phone. <laughs> yeah, he, he accidentally turned it off. <laughs> uh, it just kind of went black for a bit. Don't worry. Yeah. All and right. Didn't cancel the stream. Uh, that's good. That's kind of what happens. When oh. Well, it didn't cancel the recording or anything, right? No. All right. Shouldn't have kicked us offline. That's so good. We do have some really cool artists in the background with their gorilla faces. Dicks up. Of... So, Mr. Artist in the background, what's that supposed to like? Is that like a specific gorilla, or is that just for the fun of it? Wait. Ah, I get it. But I get it now. Come on, man. You gotta show respect. Gotta share the respect, man. Oh, show, 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 show respect for her own baby, man. <laughs> God damn. You didn't gotta deserve show that. that respect. I just think it's really hilarious how you change, uh, like something that links you to something else on Twitch. And you you get an actual audience of people that are talking to you. Let's see. Let's tighten that up so that they don't move at all. Just to find out later on down the road they're not really screwed in because they're the wrong screws. Wait, what are you talking about? Like, uh, cause I was streaming. I usually stream League, but I, I started streaming World of Warcraft and I suddenly got like a bunch of viewers. And I suddenly started. I started streaming uh, melee. Like I got a bunch of viewers too. It depends on what you do. Like you can stream a computer build like we're doing, and say we're eating food, and everybody who thinks it would be a really cool idea to just watch somebody eat food will instantly just start watching and commenting, 
I don't know. If it, I mean, honestly, let's be real. The group of people who are sitting here trying to watch people eat food. I mean. I'm not. I'm not judging. It's a bad thing. I'm judging. I'm just like. It's like, it's what are you guys doing? Like, what What makes you guys really like crave to watch somebody eat food? Like, is it something to where like somebody like eats the food and then they like throw it up or? Nah, I think like they get satisfaction. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's like somebody who like doesn't have the money to eat, but they have the money to pay for the internet to watch somebody else eat. Is that kind of what it is? Exactly why we should buy African children iPads. <laughs> so that we can uh, kind of... So they can watch food they reviews They can watch online. a living hell of other people eating food in front of their face. <laughs> yeah, they can, <laughs> they can watch food challenges of, of people go. just eating a tremendous amount of food and throwing it up. Yeah, and it looks like it. it's in there. I think those screws were the right ones. That's good. I haven't screwed up yet. Yeah. Give me time. But it don't. Won't happen. Oh, Let's Brandon, see. with your screw puns and shit. Let's see. So we're gonna put this bag. Zip ties for cable management. Here. Not that I'm ever gonna use them. I'm too lazy to use them. Come on, Brandon. <laughs> you gotta cable manage and stuff. Why would I want to do that? Because. That requires yeah. work, doesn't it? It makes things look good. Let's see. I thought uh, you were you, you were good at, at, at creating there. cables. Shouldn't shouldn't you like using zip ties and stuff? I do enjoy using zip ties, but still, where did that? I do enjoy using zip ties. That's exactly yeah. what I was trying to get out of Brandon. Really? Is that really what you were going for? <laughs> yeah, I was trying. To, I was, sure, it wasn't something else. I was exactly trying to hear you say, Let's "I see. do zip love tags. using zip I'm ties." I'm looking for another fan header. I remember there being like. More than just this. Oh wait, never mind. I figured out where it is. It was hiding. It was just hiding from me. It was over here. I'm like, where'd that other fan header go? I swear, there was another one. Let's get up and and personal. The answer was, I was using, I was looking in the wrong spot. I'm just gonna kind of keep them like tied in like they were. Why reuse cable ties? Or why use new cable ties when you can just reuse old ones? Why? I could probably just like go through the back and then do it that way, but what's the fun in that? What is the fun in that? Let's see. Since we have our HD audio, let's see. Let's start routing the power cables and everything. So we're going to kind of... Oh, wait. I want to do something first. I want to put that hard drive in so that I don't worry about it falling. Let's go put it on a, a surface where it can get shocked and die at any moment. It's my favorite thing to do. Let's see, let's uh, take these screws out. What's what's really in here? Uh, oh wait, never mind. I was correct the first time that these itty bitty screws that I thought were useless are really the hard drive screws. I was correct. Let's see, so I'm guessing the hard drive is going to go that way. The pain in the butt with these small hard drives and with these really small screws. We'll kind of put that in there and then we'll go get the other corner in there. If it'll even let me. Really? You're going to do that to me? Why would you do that? Why would you do such a thing? Why? So what happens with your 2.5 inch hard drives, is that for all of them? Is it really doesn't line up with anything. It's normal. Let's see, because that's there. Or did I just put it in backwards? Which way is it? I refuse to look at the instruction manual. 
People tell me I'm wrong. I don't like being wrong. So therefore I will ignore it. The shakiest video ever. <laughs> you need wow. a tripod for this. <laughs> Probably. Let's see, I want to scooch that here. Let's see. You know what? I was an idiot. Because 2.5 inch drives don't have four sets of screws. They only have two. Exactly. Why am, why am I why an idiot today? Think, why didn't you think of that I don't before? know. Why didn't I think of that? I'm like, why aren't the <laughs> screw holes lining up? Because there are no other screw holes. There Brandon, only two. this case, would you, would you like to say this case is rugged, cool? Would you, <laughs> would you say this case is possibly equipped? I guess you could say that. Because I would say the Vengeance Series C70 gaming case is a rug, rug is that, is a ruggedized, well-designed, and easy-to-use mid-tower built to house your PC armory. Where did the screw From the go? dual radiator support for water cooling. For water cooling. I love it when I drop a screw. Fans. Just like... It's ten fan mount locations, three included. The C70 keeps almost anything cool and looks good doing it. Robust fire equipment. Where the hell did that screw go? Wait, I think I found it. I think I found it. Jesus Christ, I'm dropping the phone again. Are you sure? Connection will be stopped? Cancel. Stop. <laughs> Jesus. There is no escape. Only not I like that power button a lot. Uh, I want to press it. Press it. The reset button's pretty cool, too. What? Are you kidding me? The reset button's so sick. Okay, hold up. Sorry. Sorry, video. I, I was getting too excited with this. It's a sick power button, but check the reset button. I'm gonna try and get a better view. It flicks up, and then you press it. <laughs> How cool is that? Wow, okay. Very cool. Alright, so that's that. I wouldn't say it's the best kind of fit. Because it kind of leaves this up here. That's kind of a hard drive's fault for not having the proper screws or whatever. But if it's just kind of holding it in place, and it's going to be on right side up anyways, it should be fine. I might imagine so. I'd imagine so. Well, it says Vengeance in the name, so it has to be good, right? Yeah, and it's <laughs> supposed to be rugged, cool, and equipped. Let's see. Let's start looking at the back of this computer. Well, we'll turn it this way. How much space do we have for cable management? A lot. I can actually get it open. I really thought it would be really easy to open it. A lot harder than I thought. <laughs> like, no screws? It's gonna be so easy to open. Let's try and get some action. Wow. That is on there. That is really on there. Like some of them, it just easily comes off, but the other one. Wait, I'm an idiot. <sighs> I am such an idiot. Why would you say that, Brandon? Well, that's pretty cool. It's got like that little cable thing right there. That is nice. very nice for cable management. Yeah, that is very Let's nice. See. What are we going to do with our cables? Just what we want to do... Route them through the back? We should probably untie these cables back here, which are tied up at the moment. 
Let's see, we've got the USB 3 and that's the front header connections. So I'm going to keep those kind of up here for now. And then I'm going to bring that through the back. I like these grommets. Like, I had this Antec case I was working on for a friend. Uh, I have to say, those grommets really didn't stay on very long. I think it was like the P100 from Antec. Great case, really fun to build in, but when it came to the grommets, the grommets really didn't stay still. I'm going to bring that up there. I'm going to bring turn it up there and plug it in so that's in there I'm going to bring that up I'm going to bring it through here I'm going to turn it plug that in that's fit in pretty nicely. I like that. Let's see. Yeah, that kind of just kind of goes right in there. That's pretty nice. I might actually, after the video, go in and do some more cable management because that, that actually might be a really good idea to do. Let's see. What else? Because the front audio... I want it yeah I'm gonna have to have that go back out through here because I'm gonna have to reroute that for the specific spot where the audio is it kind of sits in the middle of the board and it's really weird to me that a motherboard manufacturer would kind of do that to their stuff but apparently it worked really well for them so I won't complain too much yeah because that's the only front panel thing I can think of that would be really weird. Um, let's see. I want a SATA. SATA strip. I want my... I think that's a GPU. I want some GPU. And then that's an IDE that I'm not really going to worry about right now. Because I'm not going to reuse the ID. I'm going to kind of keep it flat for now without a CD drive. I'm like, I could. I'll probably throw one in eventually. Just not right now. And then I'm going to need that for the front. I'm going to need this to route up. Let's see. We'll go through here. Through the middle. Ignoring all sensible cable routing ways that would make complete sense and just do it the most stupidest way I can think how. And then I want this to go with HD audio. HD audio should be, and I'll look for that when I have light. And then let's see, where'd that see the cable go? that I had. There it is. Nice little SATA cable. Let's just hope it's long enough. Might have to make it lower. Like that. Off to the side a bit. And go here in the back. And this went through the SATA zero. I'm probably going to have to cable tie that down. Let's see. Let's have that open up real fast. I'm actually using it. Let me put that there. Look at that. I'm actually using cable ties. I didn't want to. But they're making me. And I want this. This would be a top slot, so I want that there. For now. And then we'll go around right where the power supply goes. For now, 
And we'll do that. Let's see, we want SATA. So we'll go here with that. I'll pull that all the way back. And then we want our graphics card cable, which would be right here. That needs to reach there all the way to there. That should fit. Plug that in. And it's upside down. That's right there. Since we have this... We'll Wait, try, to, try to speak that language right there. <laughs> what? Try to speak that language right there. What? Right where? On that box. The Vengeance? Yeah. I don't know if I'd be able to speak that. i stick that right there. This would be the graphics card, which is going to have to come out towards... I thought you could speak 16 languages, Brandon. Right I wish I could speak 16 languages. I don't know who you think I am. But I definitely am unable to speak 16 languages. <laughs> that there. Put that off to the side. Come out through here. Throw that through. And then I'm going to throw these screws back in because these are fan screws. I really don't need them. I can kind of just put them away. So what's everybody saying? You building a PC from scratch? Wow, oh, man. Cool, that's really cool. I just wish I had enough money in the world. Well, I know there's enough money in the world, but I would enjoy doing a build every day. That would be my dream job, just building them. I don't even have to use them. I don't care if I have to use them. So I'm going to put the back handle, panel, not paddle. Oh. Put that on. have to say this case first time kind of putting the side panel back on it's a little pain in the butt but I think once I figure out how it how you put it on oh that's a nice little snap you hear that that's a gorgeous little snap let's see what we got over here now we got a whole mesh of cables I think You can pull that out of it. Let's see. They're gonna make me unravel this cable, aren't they? I guess I'll be using those zip ties after all. I didn't want to have to use the zip ties. Let's see when I put that there. But you did want to want to use the zip ties. I did want to want to use the zip ties. That is true. We'll do that there. That should be enough. What do you think? I think uh, through there. I think that's and it just kind of sits there. I think that's just tie that. Versace. Oh, I'm losing. Yeah. 
I'll zip tie that later. Let's see if we can. Uh, How close oh, is? And this is where this is going to come in handy. How close are we to completion? Um, should be really close. We just have um the front connectors, and I think that's it. So. I really like these vents. Let's see. You could it's have really nice water cooling in this room. Power. I don't know if it's really nice water cooling, but you could have water cooling on straight. Because that speaker. And you can make it really nice. all the way across did. there. And there would be LED and power. Oh, no, wait, nice. that's power. So that should be. No, that's power LED. Yeah, I'm going to water cool my PC, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Let's see, so we're going to go power plus. That's coming up. You can make a video on it. Water cooling the PC. And then that's minus. I think. Yeah, that looks right. And then we want the power and the reset. So the reset is right here. Let's see. Power switch. I love how it's like really tiny, so it's really hard to read. So there's the power, and then reset. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing would be hard drive LED, which is all the way over here. Uh, I'm a little fussy, a little minus. Not really. <sighs> I'm go there. I really should have taken pictures of the old case on how it was plugged in originally. But it looks to me, and that's how the front panel connectors went. And this is our, this is our HD audio. We'll kind of route through the SATA cable a bit. And the HD audio is in like this really weird spot. If you come over here, like this is a really weird motherboard, where the HD audio is usually down here. But they decided on this motherboard that it's going to be way over here. So we have like this really nice cable that just goes all the way across the side of the, the motherboard. And I'm, I'm just thinking in my mind, like, why? And then I remember that not everybody is a bright egg. And then I kind of laugh to myself. Here, you want to take the camera? It's getting a little hard to plug things in with one hand. Here. That's kind of like right there. I'm like, it's like right in the middle of the motherboard. And I'm like, why would you do that? But the number one reason I picked this case is this little adapter right here that plugs into USB 3.0 header. And it gives me my USB 3.0, which I can now plug. Let's see, I want to use. I want to use USB 2. Right here. In the little corner. That's the one I want to use. There we go. The next part, I'm going to reach over. I'm going to put in the 470. It shows its majesty. Let's see. And it's going to use the second and third one. I think the other greatest thing is these are all thumb screws. Or I can just kind of just take it out with thumb. That's all good.
which the GPU kind of helps because it hides the god awful front audio connector a little bit. It makes it a little bit harder to notice. But I'm definitely going to have to come back and definitely do some cable management. I think one thing I wanted to try doing was see how well the GTX 470 matches up with a 9800 GT and see how a dedicated physics card helps out in some modern games with older, older hardware. Like Mafia 2? Yeah, like Mafia 2. Actually, just like Mafia 2. Maybe some Grand Theft Auto 5 too. That might actually help a lot. And I guess I can put in, what was it, that FireWire port again. Should I put in the FireWire again? If you want. Yeah, I might have use for it eventually. Well, the line card I had lying around. We'll put that. Yeah, that'll kind of, yeah, that'll work really well. And then that one's going to go right. It's not the last slot. The second to last slot. I really want to see what it would look like if I put a DVD drive in there to see if it looks ugly or not. What do you think? Should I give it a go? Uh, yeah, if you want. Let me just ban someone in the chat real quick. <laughs> And of course, I'm probably going to change some of these cables on where they're going. Where's your mouse at? Uh, you have to wake it up. It falls asleep. So we got that in. We got that in. We got that in. So we have that. And then... Hmm. Want the GPU plugged in. Let's see. We'll put the side panel on and we'll see if it turns on. Here. Let's put the computer down real fast. And let's just test and see if it even turns on. case a lot. Let's see. What do you think about this case so far? I think it's a great case. I think it looks very cool. I think it's got a good size. I believe so. I'm going to plug that in. I really love how it looks like from the back. Before we're done, we're going to have to show them the back. You're gonna have to build a nice desktop now with this rig. <laughs> I hope you know that. I plan on it. I just don't have the money right now, but I have these parts lying around. Let's see how good my reading skills are at really, really, really small print. 
I, I, I built Ian a rig on Newegg. You know, I did that too. He gave me a call. He's like, I want you to build me a computer. But here's the thing. I'm only giving you $250 to do it. All right, you ready? You turn on. Press one. Okay, so troubleshoot time. Time to troubleshoot. Um, Let's see. Power button didn't work immediately. That's very, very typical of every PC build. Time to troubleshoot. That's plugged in. Can you That's power it straight from the motherboard? Let's see. Do I have a flashlight? No. Can you power it from the motherboard? Using old phones. Let's see. Unless you have a better phone. You probably have a faster phone. What are you trying to do? I need a flashlight. Uh. Yeah. I can't really see it in this light. My phone's dead, but you know, I'm on. Oh, there you go. I know these parts work. I don't like sliding it. Oh wait. That would help a lot if the power strip okay let me fix this again because we had it right the first time I figured out the problem and it had nothing to do with the computer I think it had to do with the fact that the power strip I had it plugged into I turned that off it had to do with the fact that the power strip I had it plugged into well, we had power. We have power. We have power. Whew. That's a lot of work. It sounds silent. It sounds really silent. Really silent build. Now, if it turns on, we should see Windows 10. Should be on HDMI 1. I think. If not, I plugged it into the wrong SATA port. So there's also that. Either that or I have it plugged in entirely to the wrong thing. Uh, let's see. Let's change the input. Let's see. Input. Let's go to HDMI 2. Input. Input, which is my one. Input. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try hitting the reset button. I should have at least gotten the BIOS post. I'm 
the reset button is off. Oh wait, there we go. Make sure to turn itself back on. Go. We did it. Power. It works. Fire. We have we have the wheel. We built the wheel. We built the wheel. It's probably yelling at me because I do not have. Let's see. I know why. It's yelling at me. I have the strangest suspicion I am in the wrong state of port. Mm. Just a thought. It's mm. just a thought. Must be. I don't know. It should boot. Detecting drive. That's any key to continue. So I need. Oh, wait. We got it. GG. We got it. We won. We won the game. We won, we won the game, guys. We won. We won the game. We're, we're the best we at social. Just... We're the best at social eating, guys. <laughs> we won, guys. We won. There's, so... there's no better social social eating channel than this one. We won social eating. All right. Whew. Let's... We got we got to take a nice look at it with the side panel on. Uh, show off that gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's see. Let's Military have... style. Let's see. There's that little thing because it should have a little. There we go. It's on the front. So uh, yeah, I'm getting lazy. I'm getting lazy on the you know, I really thought that this would have been on the whole thing, you know? They only kind of put it on that one side. Yeah. I'm like, that's kind of disappointing. Uh, yeah. I don't see anything else that's on it. Yeah. I'm like, that's kind of, that's really disappointing. I enjoy taking off the plastics. Thank you. So let's put it right side up. Oh, these stands feel really nice. It's an hour of uptime, though. Yeah? Yeah, sir, I've been recording for an hour. Yeah? Let's see. Let's re... Oh, there we go. GP wasn't happy that I switched it up. Oh, like, why did it stop? I'm like, wait a minute. The GP is like, uh, how dare you switch? I don't want to be sideways. Let's, let's take a nice little look. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So we kind of got this nice little front. One up. And then I really thought it would look hideous, but I don't really have any lighting. So it really doesn't show up much unless you put like case lights on it. Oh, here, you want to put some light? You probably want it, like, behind there. Mm -hmm. It's a little better. Like, you can kind of see the components. But... It, it, it was pretty interesting. Like, my final, like, thoughts on building in this case. It was... It's really fun. It would have been a lot better if I had a lot more space than just kind of, like, what I had in my room. But if you have a nice open spot to just build your computer, I just have a feeling it it's a really enjoyable case to just build in. Um, I'm probably going to throw in uh, a PhysX card that I have lying around. I got a 9800 GT I'm going to throw in there. And I'm going to probably do some tests with some current generation games and see if a PhysX card and a GTX 470 can still hold their own against our new... 
10,000 Siri friends. Alright, so I'm going to have to say goodbye for now. And enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.